Well, we are back here at the RCTV main stage at the Reading Falls Street Fair. My name is Kevin Vent. This is Laura Crook, and we are joined today by Congressman John Tierney. Thank you for being here today. Happy to be here, Kevin Laura. It's a nice, nice, nice day for us. Oh, so, it's beautiful day, Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah, have you enjoyed the street fair thus far? I always do, every year. It just seems to be growing. I mean, every year I think it's probably maxed out, and then you can buy there are more tables out there and more people. So maybe just we'll doing something right. Maybe we'll have to build a few more roads down here to fit a few <laughs> more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, it's, thank you. it's great for you to be here. Do you have a favorite part of the street fair that you've seen today? Or? You know what? I think everything is so great. The food is always good, obviously, sure. on that. But just to see some of the businesses get out here and show their wares uh, and get to have people have a little attention they might not normally see if they had to go from store to store, I think it will be attractive to people to come back and maybe target where they want to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. People yeah. are in a good mood. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> I did tell you, I did like the robotics, though, with the, uh, ah, the high school team. I, okay, we had some good. fun over there. They that's that's one that no one has uh, mentioned yet to us. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they, they probably haven't been there yet, but if they get a chance to go by here and go over there, the kids are working really hard. Sure. Uh, oh, absolutely, And the yeah. teacher was just saying, it's not just the uh, engineering of the robot. It's the business aspect of it, raising the money for it, putting the program together in the budget, and yep. then doing the PR, and then actually getting the thing to fire. Yeah, <laughs> great that. experience for the high school. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Well, uh, Congressman Tierney has been our representative in Washington for 18 years. That's right. And uh, you are running for re-election. Absolutely. <laughs> Tuesday is uh, the primary. Tuesday is the Ask primary. Ask first to consider the vote. I appreciate <laughs> it. Coming up. So I guess the question I would ask is, is you know, having been in Congress for that long, you know, what kind of new things do you see coming up for, for uh, happening down in Washington that you really feel that you need to be a part of to represent us? Well, one of the really good things was we, we just did pass the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, which uh, we quarterbacked through and got 95% of the Senate and the House to vote for it. Excellent. It's a way to you know, give people the skills they need to get jobs that actually exist. Mm -hmm. So no more train them up and pray, but yeah. identify where the jobs are, what the skill set is, get that ready, prepare people, and then employers get the quality that they want. They can identify and hire people on that. Now it needs to be implemented, so part of it will be going back, making sure that that gets implemented smoothly and okay. our communities can really take advantage of it. A lot of apprenticeship programs in there, so people, uh -huh. while they're getting uh, trained up for the job, can go to work in an actual company and they each get to see sure. uh, how they like that. Uh, the higher education uh, bill, we did the higher education opportunity bill a few years ago. It's up for reauthorization. There are some parts mm -hmm. that we want to do to make it even more affordable for uh, students bring down the interest rates on loans, uh, try to make sure the Pell Grants are worth what they should be worth and people have different options, and try to help the colleges bring their prices down, or at least keep okay. them within the cost of living a lower on that part. So all of that, we've got to do some work on preschool, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and there'll be a lot of foreign policy issues obviously going back sure. as we go in, and I think my experience on the Intelligence Committee as well as chairing the uh, National Security and Foreign Policy Committee mm -hmm. uh, are helpful there. But obviously, as a, as a, a higher-ranking member, because you've been in Congress for a period of time, right. uh, it's important to have that kind of influence. Well, in, I think it Washington. is. You know, we've, uh, the district, I think, has been served well by that, having a voice at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes a while to get there, but uh, it is an institution that runs on seniority. And I'm proud. I'm, I think I'm the only member that actually uh, is a ranking member in two committees. One is the okay. Health, Employment, uh, Labor, and Pensions on the Education Committee, and the other is the National Security and Foreign Policy uh, subcommittee on oversight. So uh, it keeps us busy, but it's all good stuff, and it's nice to know that uh, people here have that voice at the table. Sure, absolutely. Laura? Um, so do you have any plans um, going forward in the fair? In the fair? Yes. Uh, you know, we're going to make another trip back through. Mm -hmm. Probably going to steal some food off somebody there. Oh, yeah. It looks too good. <laughs> Mike's problem is a sweet, so I'm always angling to get something to sweet on that. Right. Well, looks you, good. Should, you should definitely check out um, Harrow's is giving away little sil singers, single serving um, uh, cups of uh, their pot pie and it's oh, that sounds right. amazing and they're right next to Cupcake City so you there can you get go, some I got sweets. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the scouting and the advance work on <laughs> That's that. Right. Yeah. Well I know yeah. uh, you know as a representative in Congress one of the things that you have to do is both look at issues nationally and also look at how they affect your local district. All the time. Yeah. Um, how do you how do you do that I guess is my, is my question. I, that well, sounds you know, very challenging to me. You know you do it by making sure that you get out and talk to people all the time so this is a fair we're all having a good time but it's an opportunity for me to listen to people uh, and people are good about that. They don't hesitate to come up and share their ideas. Sure. Uh, so the, you know, we do that. We go out, we visit schools and hospitals and businesses uh, regularly on that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the best thing. So that whenever we're doing something down there, it's informed by what people here see and need uh, and talk about on that. And I think that's the best way you could do it. We have town hall meetings on phones. We get mm -hmm. thousands of people to listen in on that. We have town hall meetings out in the public. Uh, I think it's mostly just being open on that. Our website, we got a, uh, the Golden Mouse Award on that. <laughs> so, you know, letting people know all the time and being sure. able to interact, I think, is, is really helpful. Uh, and I think, you know, that it pays off in the long run. We're going to disagree sometimes at the Iraq War. I voted against going into that, into mm -hmm. Iraq, and that was not popular at the time. 
but eventually you know people came around the position to say that that was the right way to go and i think it helped build some trust that they know that sometimes we have a little more information than the general public might have and right that the more they get to trust their member to take that and use it to the advantage of their district it's helpful that's a really good point yeah well i think that you know it's true what's the old quote about uh that a representative owes the people his judgment as well as exactly as, uh, you know well, it's real easy to take a, a test every time and take a poll or something like that sure. but that's uh, it's not going to work and you know i wish that you know uh, people had access to all the information mm-hmm. uh, but it's such a crazy world out there so many types of information coming at people their lives are so busy i think that's you know why they need representatives because that's their job to focus in on that and then to make the judgment as you say right right well, we thank you for coming down here to the Reading Street no, Fair happy today. To do it. Thank hopefully you for having me. Hopefully, you met a lot of people. Great. And uh, we've got a ton. We're going to do some more on the way back through. All right. Well, we uh, wish you good luck on Tuesday in thank the primary, and again, hopefully in November uh, in the general election. I appreciate that. All right. We've thank been here with uh, Congressman you. John Tierney on RCTV. We will be back in just one moment. Thank you very much.